Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and put the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan here. Today uh, we have a special guest, a great friend of mine and the bass player in our band, Funkasaurus Dex, uh, Mike McLean. And uh, there he is. Hey, hey, hi, Mike. Lauren. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Doing all right? Uh, so uh, we got uh, several things to get through here today. Uh, we're going to unbox and uh, uh, look at this uh, T-shirt guitar that Leo made for uh, one of our subscribers in a celebration of, uh, of getting 1,000 subscribers for the channel. I think we're at 1,100 and something at the, uh, now, so. That's because I'm really slow yeah, at building guitars. Yeah, it took him a while to build it, but that, that's, <laughs> sometimes it's better to be accurate than it is to be fast. But, well, we'll uh, see. We got the glary uh, wall of shame up there that's been just aching to have a new customer. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, part of Leo's motivation is for this guitar not to go there. But uh, True. Anyway, um want to welcome Mike, and uh, he, we got a bass that we're going to uh, review in a little while, and that's why Mike is here, because I'm not a bass player, and he's kind of a bass player. Um, <laughs> slightly, <laughs> slightly, and he's kind of a guitar player, as you all probably already know, but, you know. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, Do a little guitar, too, though, but, you know, that's, that's for another day, another week, another month, another year. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, Anyway, welcome, Mike, and thanks for uh, for uh, coming out and hang, well, well, hanging out in the man cave with us. Yeah, uh, yeah well, so, so it's definitely an honor and a privilege. Glad to be here. Yeah, the so, Bluetooth speaker that plays our tracks is the first time it's ever been in this shot. Ah, oh, well, yeah. there it is, the party boom. <laughs> Uh, it does well, a good job. Well, well Dan, you go ahead and get it on, man. I, I want to hear this guitar, man. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's... So this in this beautiful tweed case is the t-shirt guitar and uh, for those of you who have uh, been with the channel for a while uh, uh, at one point Leo took the picture of the two ugliest guys in the world and put it on a t-shirt and a bunch of unfortunates were, were gifted one of those at some point. Well they did get them for free though didn't they? Yeah, well, COVID is free too, man. Yeah, but that's true. <laughs> that's extremely true. Yeah. I just knocked the camera over, and that, that's okay. Uh, yeah, that hardy har har uh, <laughs> can be dangerous. Um, so, anyway, this is the T-shirt guitar built by Leo and uh, and Patrick assisting, and um, we're gonna take it out of the case now and. Uh, Take a look at it, and then uh, Mike has got a bass that he's going to review. Uh, we'll let him talk about the bass when, when the time comes. And then uh, when all that's done, Mike and I will play something together uh, with this guitar. I'm really looking forward to that. Well, that makes one of us. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, he roped me into this, believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At my request. <laughs> With my rope. <laughs> yeah, and I had to buy him lunch, too. So. There is no free lunch. <laughs> Remember that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we... I'm already aware of that. And if I wasn't before today, I am now. You are now. <laughs> okay, so... Without further ado, let's let's take a look at this guitar. We're, uh, Go ahead, Patrick. Would you do the honors of unlatching? Yeah. Dan Dan seems to have it, it seems in to. hand. Yeah. Exactly. Just a lower. Oh, oh, ah, so close. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, there you go. That's gonna hurt later. All right. Let's hope not. All right. So. Okay, there you go. That's the T-shirt guitar in all its glory with everything that's in the case including the very last t-shirt hopefully there will never be another right but uh which means that you get a free t-shirt in any size you want just as long as that size is medium yeah what he said 
And uh, I guess the string box doesn't open until you take your guitar off. Yeah. Nope. Um, and we got a little Velcro. There you go. This is actually a very nice case. Uh, except I hate this Velcro crap because it, it always wants to reattach itself. There you go. That was that was worth my my participation. Right yes, there. Yeah. <laughs> that's like an extra real clingy. Yeah. All right. So uh, as you can see, the pick guard for the guitar is the same design that's on the T-shirts. Uh, so you can double your fun. You get a T-shirt and a guitar that's got the same design. Uh, and uh, obviously, this is a a Strat copy, um, and it's from Bad Cat uh, Guitar Kits, and um, we've tried, or Leo tried, to uh, emulate the exact color scheme of the t-shirt uh, in the paint, and uh, obviously the pig guard. He, he didn't exactly stain the uh, fingerboard, but uh, he, he put some oil on it, so darkened it up a little bit. That's it. actually leather dye. Okay. <laughs> it's actually leather dye, folks. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Leo, what did you use on the back? Uh, on, the, on the back, back of, of, the the neck. Ne of the neck? Yeah. Leather dye. And I, I, I did put a little bit of uh, true oil on it, but that's, I... I that's uh, the deal. I smoothed that up as much as I possibly could. I hope Dan likes the neck. Uh, feels very nice from here. I don't like them to be too shiny because when you sweat, they right they start grabbing on you know on your fingers and on your hands. Well, I went it over it kind of real good with some four out steel wool to try to rough that up some. Yeah, but it has a kind of a roasted look. You know what I'm saying? By yeah. Right. You know, so that's pretty cool. And it's got the skunk skunk stripe down the back of the neck, and. Uh, Another uh, of the ubiquitous design of uh, the two ugliest guys in the world. Uh, so, uh, luckily, my appearance and my voice, as we've heard more than one time on the channel in our comments, has nothing to do with playing the guitar. So, uh, uh, we could do this in the dark if we if we really wanted to. And, we may end up trying that one of these days. I have a night vision, Jim. Yeah. Just a black screen. <laughs> it's like, and we'll just, you know, use a flashlight to show the guitars. Then you won't have to see me. So, um, anyway. Show them the logo on the headstock, Dan. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the logo on the headstock says T-shirt guitar, which is... Uh, Apparently Leo's new brand of guitar. No, that's it's a one of a kind, dude. Yeah, well, As a brand. matter of fact, there's only two guitars in existence that I built, and I hope there's not a third. It was the hardest thing I ever did to build this guitar. This was the most expensive guitar that we've ever had on the channel. <laughs> we won't say why. But, uh, and uh, Because I, making mistakes is costly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of like this plexiglass uh, cover here. That's kind of neat. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that on any other guitar. It's not plexiglass. Usually, yeah, they're kind of white or there's yeah. a color of the guitar. Or something. Yeah. So, um, the guitar has a very nice smooth finish. There's a, there's a tiny bit of bubbling, but, uh, you know, nothing, nothing that's going to hurt the way it plays at all. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, just you know, looking at it like that, it's it's a, a lovely instrument in appearance. And uh, in a minute, we're gonna tune it up, and uh, I'll run through the pickups and stuff. And then, uh, like I said before, Mike and I will play something at the end of all this. So here you go, folks. One of you lucky people, as long as you're a subscriber to the channel, will be the winner of this lovely instrument. And you'll get to see our faces on a daily basis. <laughs> Don't threaten them, Dan. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm a subscriber. Do I need to just go ahead and delete myself just for this one? Or what? <laughs>
it's entirely up to you or anyone else. How, how are you picking the uh, the, the individual? You just... On the other hand, you'll never have a need for Ipecac. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, see, a lot of people might not know what Epicac is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll look it up, because yeah. I ain't going to explain it. Right, 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 right. right. You, better, you might want to, you know, if they're too young, they ain't going to get that one at all. It's spelled I-P-E-C-A-C, if you want to look it up online. And, uh, and it's... And it, I, 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 don't tell them. Let it it them. sounds like what it makes you do. Right? <laughs> That's the only hint you get for that one. Right. Uh, and but you can get the joke all over again if you do it. Again. <laughs> I I thought about putting a red knob on the uh the top control because the volume? It, yeah, because uh it's right on my nose, you know. Thank you, Rudolph. Too easy on passing. Right. <laughs> okay, so folks, uh this is the t-shirt guitar. One of you lucky people will be the recipient. Uh, as long as you're in the continental United States, I believe. Is no, I, I've decided to do it no matter who wins. Wherever, it. okay. You know. He's already spent so much money, what the hell. Well, yeah, pretty uh, much. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, our international uh, subscribers can get in on the deal. That's, that's there, will be other, there will be other gifts given away. Uh, in this contest. It's not just going to be this guitar and the case and everything that comes with it, including that little Donner Pup practice amp and other things that are in this case. There, But but we'll do that all when we do the uh, giveaway. We'll That's the Lino and Dan Ryan cavalcade of gifts. <laughs> uh, you know, you know. Uh, we got a bunch of crap to get rid of because we just have all together too many guitars at this point. <laughs> So we just need to move it out. We gotta move some of and uh, and you are the lucky beneficiaries. Uh, so uh, anyway, we're gonna stop this. I'm gonna tune this up. We're gonna go through the pickups and you know do the normal things that we do for an unboxing and play through, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey folks, Dan Ryan back again with the. Uh, with the playthrough of the uh, t-shirt guitar. Uh, we've already gone through all the particulars of how it came to be, et cetera, et cetera. So this is just basically to uh, show you how it sounds. Um, as with all our reviews, everything's wide open. We don't, we don't adjust anything to make it sound the way uh, we want it to sound. It's just gonna be how it sounds, with everything wide open right out of the box. So, without further ado, uh, this is on the neck pickup. Artifact that happens right about here. It's nothing uh, that would keep you from playing the guitar, but uh, uh, just I can see it drifting towards the glare wall of fame already. Pretty true all the way up the neck, which is good. It's a 22 fret neck, I believe. So that's the uh, that's the neck pickup, and here's the neck and middle. You notice a real big drop off in in 
the low energy. And here's the middle pickup by itself. and middle. You you are getting the you know the the right set of values in terms of <clears throat> the tonality of the pickups for a strat uh, as we go through them. They're they're getting brighter and brighter as you go along, which is kind of what you expect since this is a SSS configuration. Uh, so we're uh, one more to go. And for those that don't know, SSS means single coil, single coil, single coil. Is that what it means? I think so. Last summer. That was just super, super, super. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, that's it was Leo strat, Fender. strat, strat. Yeah, that's what Leo Fender said. <laughs> All that money he made was it. <laughs> uh, and the uh, last but not least, the, uh, the bridge pickup. Now, what's weird is that as as you go through them, that just per is perceptibly louder than pretty much every other, every other pickup except maybe the, the neck. It could be just that it's so bright that it you know, it sounds louder in you. tell you right now whoever gets this guitar is going to get a very credible instrument <clears throat> I know we that's what we do on the channel is review inexpensive guitars and in terms of the kit itself this was relatively inexpensive by the time Leo <laughs> got it all put together as he said it's probably the most expensive we've ever reviewed but uh, still it's a nice guitar and uh, it's going to it's going to sound fine when Mike and I play something here in a minute. So this is it, the uh, Leo and Dan Ryan T-shirt guitar, uh, which we will be giving away. Uh, and uh, uh, in a minute, we'll Mike and I will play something together. Uh, Mike has a bass that he's going to review first. So uh, at this time, we want to thank you for tuning in. I want you to like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be informed of our future video videos. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to go away now. I'm going to go away now. And also check out Mike's channel. Oh, yes. That's right. Mike McLean on YouTube. M-C-C-L-E-A-N. Well, he got it wrong. M-C capital L-E-A-N. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, just one C. Well, he's always and, talking about clean and his email address. And clean is spelled... Well, he does resemble Mr. Clean. Yes. So, there we go. But clean is not with two C's. Now it's found out. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, though. But uh, it's all good. So Mike McLean on YouTube. Yes. However you spell it. So, we're going away now. And Mr... Clean. Everything will be back <laughs> doing his own review on our channel. Exactly. <laughs> so, 
shortly. At so. our request. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, folks, uh, we're back. Uh, we're going to play a little something with the bass, the Ibanez bass and the T-shirt guitar. Uh, this track is called uh, Slow Groove Jam, Sexy Bass. Uh, Mike uh, demanded that we play the sexy bass. <laughs> 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 I've never seen this before. I don't know. This guy, I know a little bit, but him, nah. I mean. <laughs> it sounded like I made him build. There you go. Like, no semen on the It was like, it was like. Yeah, so anyway, this is a track by, uh, made by a, a person named Quist. And we do appreciate it because it's not that easy to find a, a backing track that has no bass and no guitar on it. So, uh. Without further ado, except turn it on the, turn it up the amp so we can be heard. Maybe you're gonna hear some more. That's all right. And here we go. So uh, here goes nothing.
that's it for the review of the t-shirt guitar and uh, I'm going to upload the bass separately that will be available on uh, Mike McLean's channel that's uh, Mike M capital M C capital L E A N uh, I urge you to go check him out he's uh, just getting started on his channel and we'd love to see you uh, subscribe to his channel as well also we uh, uh, really appreciate him coming by uh, we could, couldn't have done the review of the bass without him I uh, hope you enjoyed the t-shirt guitar we'll be doing a drawing soon I'll release a video with uh, rules of the contest and uh, there will be other prizes besides the t-shirt guitar listed and uh, good luck to everybody I hope you win thank you Bye.